Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the All Right Podcast. Remember, it's not the best podcast, but it's not the worst podcast. It's just an All Right Podcast. Guys, I have a guest here, but before I introduce him, uh, let me know what you think of the new intro. Um, comment down below. Um, I really appreciate it. And also, you can follow me on all my social medias, all down in the description below, my Facebook page, Instagram, you know, uh, likes of that. And um, please go follow me to see the behind the scenes. Now, we've got a special guest here. And when I say special, I don't mean in that way. Um, hello, Dara. Dara Robinson. How's it going, man? What's up? How's things, Tondo? What's happening? Me, now, a little background, me and Dara, um, we know each other. I'd say we know each other over a year now, wouldn't it be? Yeah, it's definitely over a year now. Yeah. Be be over here, and we we first met because we both worked in the same uh, retail store, and uh, the very first day um, when Derek came in, I literally looked up and went, "That's Darren Conway, what the fuck?" And uh, he was just oh. looking at me. He was like, "I'm not fucking Derek Conway." The way he talks, mad. And um, I was like, "Right." And then we started talking. I was like, "This fella is actually funny. He's actually sound." And then what? Well, we start fucking. Uh, you get me lift home from work. He fucking. We go to McDonald's, go to Yin Yang, uh, Jing Zeng, and we fucking just became friends after that. So, uh, yeah, but the first thing I done, I done an Indian impression from, and he fucking pissed himself laughing. That's when he knew how, where my boundaries were. And I'm not going to redo it because I can get fucking people slate me for it. Um, but Dara knows what I'm talking about. But Dara, why we're here today is because you have a channel that I want you to promote on, on this podcast for so more people can fucking click and join because you... You are starting to upload regularly now a while. You're starting to yeah, upload yeah. every day. And I want I want you to talk a bit about the channel, if you don't mind. Well, I'm uploading daily now for the last two, three months. Basically, since the lockdown, I've just been sweating away. Nothing else to be doing. So I just started recording videos and went from there. I'd always done it for years and then said, lately, because of lockdown, I was like, here, I'm doing this a bit more serious now. Yeah, I I was um his his uh, his link will be down in the description below as well. Uh, go subscribe to him also. And um, but he does you do gaming videos, isn't it? That's that's your main thing you do. Yeah, that's the main thing at the moment. And then the odd there'll be the odd little unboxing, say of like computer game related stuff hmm. over time. But at the moment, it's just mainly gaming different videos. And is that is that what something you were into since you're a bloody kid? Like oh, it's just gaming itself. Oh, uh, we've been gaming since I am um, three or four, literally probably younger. From what we can remember, I was only like three or four on the old PlayStation One. That was your first ever console, was it? That's your first ever experience with gaming itself, was it? What was your first yeah. ever console? You got game PlayStation One, was it? Probably the PlayStation One, yeah. On like the Nint- no, the PlayStation One playing Tekken, Tekken. And with the old FIFA '97. Yeah. Jeez, look at you. Look at you. I, I was I, I had a we were interviewing a guy yesterday um and he's he was talking he was showing us all his controllers that he had beside him on his bean bag and he had <laughs> one for like the GameCube and stuff like that. And I was we were talking about um that my first ever console that I played was a GameCube. Um my uncle gave it to me when we were younger. Um, and it, it, we played Zelda on it. And I was like, this fucking thing is deadly, man. All the fucking music and all. You're speeding around. You're some blonde fella. And you're, like, and you're just going mad with it, uh, with the sword. Um, but for likes of yourself, why, why did you decide to make this channel? Well, we've always had channels for years. I remember like back when Modern Warfare 2, even before Modern Warfare 2, COD 4. I would have had, you probably heard of it yourself, the HD PVR. And if you had one, hmm. you were just the thing. You were it, which I made. You were the one that recorded the trick shots. And you were just, you knew how abusive the Modern Warfare 2 lobbies be. And you'd yeah. be in there and they just hear you and be, oh, we hit a shot, record it, record it now, hit record. <laughs> and you just record this little kill cam. And we'd been doing that for years. And then, just slowly, it was like, we still had an interest as I got older. And then with working and everything, I had more money. So it was like, all right, I've been getting bits and bits and I've like a good mic and a deadly computer. And I was just like, yeah. So I might as well, I'm not spending all this money on good equipment. I might as well put it to use. Yeah. Because you, you, um, you had a problem with the microphone, didn't you, as well? I remember you kept telling me the microphone oh, had to keep getting sent back. Do you want to talk about what, that? <laughs> that was mental. That was at Christmas. So Amy, my girlfriend, got it for me at Christmas. 
mm. and it came and the little like, connection on it that you used to plug it in was just hanging out of it and I've no clue how so that broke that came broken got sent it back they fixed it but then when that was working again I didn't know that my mixer was broke like no the mixer is for the like, proper mics mm. that was broken so had a bit of a back and forth email arguments lately and then they eventually refunded me because they were like you should have told us within two months of owning it and I went through the dates of when I got the mic sent back and I was like I couldn't have told you I didn't even have a mic so yeah. at least I got me money back anyway so I'll get a go XLR soon and what's what's that microphone you're using now because not a lot of people that come onto this podcast the only all they have is their phones the fella Kevin Green uh, that we had on his episode is that you um right before yours yours is after his right after his um he had his own little mic and set up when it was the first time um i've seen someone like that on the podcast now so you're the second person now that has something like that so what what microphone is it this is the road procaster it's i think it's about it's only 200 euro anyway yeah and it's, and it's, it's like worth, you can you can hear 70. that it's worth it anyway it's fucking there's good sound coming out of it that's all. Well, my little brother got a cheap one. It's called the Road Pod Mic. That was about 100 euro all in, 120, and it sounds actually fairly good for the money as well. What I want, I want to ask you as well because um, I just fucking I wanted to start making gaming videos, so I changed my whole bloody main channel to just gaming videos, and I still have to get into the rhythm of uploading um at least even twice um every two days or so, but. Um, for the likes of yourself, what do you think of the people like likes of yourself that you're starting out and you're buying all this equipment and so on that there is there's a chance there that you'll make it or you'll not make it? What's your what's your goal for the channel like? I'd honestly love to make it a job. Hmm. That's would be the main goal if it was to happen, but it's like very hit and miss. Yeah. You and I both know it's you could be producing great content. There's a lot of great content creators out there, but they might not get that exposure they need. Mm. They might not even have the confidence to say share it on their own personal Facebook or something where they might actually get a bit more exposure through friends and just the like that roll on effect, but they'll always be holding themselves back or they might just never get noticed. Mm. And it's just, you just have to give it a go. Otherwise you'll always be regretting it. Yeah, I that's why I, I was saying that on the other podcast. I don't care if I get anywhere with all these fucking sketches or these podcasts. I so saw once I've done it and once I know I've done it and I won't look back and uh, regret it myself. But um, I did want to talk more about the channel and so. So, um, you what what type of videos do you do for the people that don't know? Well, at the moment, I do a lot of Call of Duty. So, but you can I play anything really. Just doing a lot of gameplay videos. I'm going to start streaming a lot more as well because I've noticed a lot of people lately streaming. There's my cousin in the last week. He only started streaming just off his Xbox, not even like face cam, mic, nothing. And he's already has like 50 followers. That's mad, isn't it? In a week itself, like especially when you're only starting off. There's another fella. His mate is affiliate now on Twitch TV in the last week he started seven days is that ago. what you is that what you would stream on as twitch yeah i say i do as twitch as yeah so as what's the what would you in your opinion what's the difference from streaming on uh, streaming on twitch to youtube youtube i don't find you can find streamers easy enough on youtube like mm. i know my little brother streams a lot on youtube and i'd be watching it and i know he's streaming because i get he'll either tell me because mm. it's me brother or i'll get a uh, like notification because i'm subscribed to him but if he doesn't, it's so hard to come across. You'd never really come across a stream mm. on YouTube the yeah. way you go on Twitch and they're just all streaming. Yeah. And it's, it's, it is fucking, it is hard. I say it is hard when you're, when you're streaming on Twitch to start get going. Like you'd have to be very persistent when it, when it comes to it as well. Yeah. Like there's another friend of mine. He plays World of Warcraft, but he's at the bin. He's streaming consistently for, I can't remember how long. It's mm. ages now, probably a year or so. But he's good friends with another fella who's kind of biggish. And he has, but in the last week, your man raided him. And just from oh, that shit. raid, or he hosted him. Yeah. He has like 70 subscribers now. He's doing like $90 this month. 
or if you subscribe us that's, that's mad isn't it yeah because people you have to subscribe and it's like a fiver to fucking subscribe to people is it so yeah that's if you just want to support the person yeah. and then there's donations as well and then there's things called bits i don't know how bits work but you get like a percentage of that when you build up so many it's mm. mad i think sorry i think um i think i was always wanting to stream on twitch but i can't see that stream labs and stuff like that as well why yeah, that's what you use is it what do you use for your you know your overlay of your yeah. camera when you when you upload what is it that you use is it stream labs i'm using stream labs at the moment because it's like the easiest one out of a lot of them i mm. remember back in the day you'd be using i think well obs which stream yeah, labs I, is like a, that's what i'm using now the bloody yeah. sort of stream like but that's what um, stream i want labs to use stream is like a much more simpler version of obs it's mm. just so easy no, yeah. it doesn't get too complicated unless you want it to mm. When you so just look up tutorials, isn't it? And step by step, how to set it up, how to do this, how to do that. But when it comes to Twitch, I don't know how to stream on Twitch. Do you know how to start streaming on Twitch? And if you do, could you, could you tell us how? And for the people out there that are probably wanting to do what I want to do um, by streaming uh, games on Twitch, how, how do you go by doing that? Just using your stream labs and then you obviously stream PC a lot more so than mm. Xbox or anything. So you would like just add it as a source it's called and it's fairly simple and then in the sentence you go on the twitch you get your stream key which is mm-hmm. personal to your channel and then you put it in mm-hmm. and then it, it's like it just adds your channel to the stream labs and then when every time you hit go live mm-hmm. it's all there and then you just watch a youtube video a tutorial just get to learn the sentence that you might want to the quality of your video yeah i might i might put down the description if i remember i'll put down the description below i'll look up a video on how to do a step-by-step of uh, streaming uh, on twitch itself because i do want to start doing that and um, because when i try over on youtube there's you only have like two or three people watching or so it's not that much so uh i think with twitch you can grow a different audience and stuff like that as well um, oh, and really yeah, well, I, w- I want to talk about, oh, I'm going to go away from that for a bit. And I want to talk about the time that me, you and a friend of ours went to London. We were picked and it was fucking brilliant. And I, I'm telling you now, the the laugh we had at it was fucking brilliant. And I'll never forget it. It's, it was literally probably my first lads holiday. Of, to God on the street, it was one night, but it was like that. And I want to talk about it because it was fucking brilliant. And um, I was only looking at the photos last night of... I was a video of last night of yourself um, when you were on the plane and you were conked out, you were asleeping. Oh, no. Like that. I, I was only video. watching it last night because I was going through my videos on Facebook and I started laughing. And then I was like, fuck, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this up. But we were picked, um, for people that don't know, we were picked um, to fly to London by our company for a night, overnight. And we, were, we had to go to, like, we had to go and learn new stuff from Bose, Panasonic, Samsung you know, LG, all the big names, and they picked the three worst fellas to go together uh, because Dara, it was fucking deadly, wasn't it? It was so good, man. Oh. We went on the plane, and people don't know, I'm terrified of planes, man, and there's Dara. I, Dara was all right. Like, Dara made sure it was grand, but at the same time, he was ripping the piss out of me as Dara would, um, and he was laughing at me. <laughs> uh, but on, I, I, I want to get to, on the way back, I will, I'll get to that soon. But we went over there and we all went out to McDonald's fucking that night. And Oh, that was some McDonald's. And what happened? We, we walked, didn't we? We walked that day, didn't we? And then we flew over in the evening. Oh, we literally walked that day till I was finished at, some, I used to finish at three on a Friday or, yeah. what was it, a Friday or a, something like that? Mm. I used to finish at three anyway. Yeah. You had, you you had to, your college or something. You had college. Yeah, that you I was doing do. my course oh, at the time, and I was finishing at three. But I had to go home, do my seminar, yeah. get ready and everything, because I didn't pack a thing. Yeah. Couldn't find my passport. Yeah. <laughs> that oh, was a disaster. Imagine. Like, the day of it. That's such a bloke thing to do as well. It's like, oh, where's my passport on the day? I couldn't find my passport when I was meant to be coming to collect you. Yeah. And then, by the time you got off, work was even later. You got off at, like, five. Huh. Our flight was at, like, seven. Or something like that, even yeah. later. It was probably. mad, man. I, I, yeah, I remember that, man. And we were fucking rushing as well, weren't we? We were rushing to get into the fucking game. Like, how did they people expect it? You'd, like, give you the day fucking off so you prepare for it. Like, we were literally like, what the fuck? And everybody else in that place was like, what the fuck? You should have got the day off. And then um, we were supposed to... 
um, going to the work up the next day because the next day we literally went to this the seminar if, if and that's flew the name back. Of it. and we we flew back the same day. Well, the good thing about it was is that we got fucking we got memories over that I never forget. We had really good fucking laughs. It was so good. Um, and we went yeah as I was saying we went to McDonald's man. We ordered a lot of fucking food set there. There was four of us. There was, there was four of us. Um, but yeah, what was it? It tasted different than Irish It did taste McDonald's. different, man. It did taste and different. And it's ripped into me over that. Yeah. Still we fucking, me and, me and uh, another friend, um, I call him Kelvin, I can say his first name, Kelvin. Um, he fucking, he just, and every, like there was food in Kelvin's mouth and he was fucking spinning out. And <laughs> Dara, man, I'm not even messing with it. It's a highlight of my life. It's, it's so good, like one of them moments. And I remember we had to walk for ages to get food and we ended up finding McDonald's. And uh, and I wouldn't mind McDonald's was right next to us when we found it. Yeah, what the fuck? Then the scratch busy. cards and everything in the garage on the way back. Yeah, the, the garage was real close to us as well. We um, started putting scratch cards and everything. <laughs> we went into the shop, yeah. At night time, people were like, what the fuck's happening here? And uh, yeah, but it was good that, like, there was the good thing about that was is that we all got, like, as mates, we all went over uh, together. But we also, as I said, there's fucking memories there and got it like that. But um, we also got our own fucking hotel rooms. None of us had to fucking share. We all got our own hotel rooms and it was fucking deadly. And Calvin was like, I have, I'm going to have a bat. And I was like, I'm going to have a bat. And then it was too late. And I was like, I'm not having a bat. And then Calvin's like, boys, I had a bat. And I was like, all oh, right, fair enough, man. I just and wanted a point. And no, no, no one would go with you because I was fucking knackered. I'm not missing that. I'm not waking up in the morning because I know you, Dara. I know you by now. You'd fucking have me up there and you'd be drunk or something. You'd be shy talking out of you. And I'd be there going, Dara, we nearly got a bed, man. To bed. It's far in the morning. No, exactly. It's far, far in the morning, Dara. would have been more like, Dara, we have to go to the room and get ready for this. Yeah. And I'm like, Anto, mm. will we just stay here for the rest of the day and hide? And I'd be like, <laughs> no, because I'm trying to keep the job as long as I can. Mm. And uh, we, we went in and I thought we were all going to be teamed up and we were all separate. We all went our separate ways and there was loads of people. I mean, even we went to Canon as well, didn't we? We went fucking Panasonic, Can- oh, Canon as well. Like, uh, Canon, and I, I found that really Sony. Cool. Three different types of Sony went to Sony music, Sony television, like still yeah, Sony fan. Sony and, cameras. And there was a, there was a, um, we used to all, we would all go into the same ro- or different rooms. Um, and we'd all pass each other and be like, hurry, hurry. And it's like, what do you think of it? It's good, yeah, yeah. That's all you'd hear out of us, yeah, yeah. And then I remember when I went in, do you remember the one where the guys had the speaker and they dressed up as the parties? They, they were dressed oh, up LG. like Still I start, I done karaoke with some uh, fat fella. Yeah. And, um, what did you do? F- um, I think it was Backstreet Boys. Uh, I yeah, I had to do a Barbie girl with a bogger and some culture from like up the north and some fella who was English and he was a bit on the feminine side and had nails painted and everything but he done like the squeaky voice and it was actually like grand funny it was funny oh, was, I didn't even do it's much it's mad just, isn't it I just said come on Barbie let's go party and that was it that's was all you said bugger. yeah I just don't to try to get involved and win yeah. the speaker I was on me fucking me and some fella man we were almost on our knees fucking singing and everybody's just watching us and I'm like <laughs> what did I do but after all of that we got picked Um. I think we get, yeah, we got picked for because you, you, you straight away get picked to be in the draw. And it is fucking mad. Everybody was fucking English. You know what I mean? Obviously, because loads of them from fucking London or something, but they're all, they were all over. Um, and no, no one won it. Ab, uh, the fella, Abby, um, that was what was he, he won something, didn't he? he I can't he, remember. He won it. Something as silly as a DVD or something. Yeah, it was mad. Something. The fucking gifts they gave as well. Fucking give me a telly, you mad bastard. Like, Did you not see someone won like a big mad telly there as well? They got Samsung. They probably did, yeah. It was a new one, yeah. That oh, was it mad. was... Yeah, you won a telly off Samsung. Like, not the big 80-inch one they showed us, but mm. like a Q50. Not, sorry, a Q7, but a 50-inch. Mm. If you played the game, like, I think it was yeah, Street you, Fighter or something. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. And I was dying to play it, and I knew it would be everyone, but... I was I literally just like this. I was, yeah, like that. That was just like, I was like, hello, fucking pygmy. They only want me hand up, and they're like, nah. Yeah, yeah, right. no. yeah, I I was, yeah, it was a bit mad. But from that um, from that little um, experience and stuff like that, what, was, what, what, was, what were you thinking, like, was a 
like a good time for you? Was it was a good time for you? Um, I was just thinking I want to charge back the company we worked for yeah. for all my expenses. Did you? <laughs> you didn't, didn't get that and going over. You didn't, did. You, did you get any petrol back? Did you get any parking oh, back? Nothing. Got it all. I got, you got like it all. Ninety euro back off them or something yeah. because I got. We went to other spoons. <laughs> we when we got into McDonald's. Yeah. Petrol parking. Yeah. Because all you brought everyone. Yeah, yeah. Because Dara has a car and we're all fucking homeless, so Dara had to bring the homeless. Um. And those sleeps in me boo. He sleep in his boo sometimes. He doesn't know. And then I just walk <laughs> home from Pala. Um. But right now I'm actually fucking. I have this CD for the theory test and I passed it two or three times now. So. I'm gonna wait until I pass it, like Joe, like like ten times in a row without failing. Yeah. Um, and me and uh, Nicola, we done a test, and she's a full licensed driver, and I passed. It was my first time passing. I goes, I passed, and then she failed. And I was like, hold on, give me them keys to the car. What are you doing? You shouldn't be fucking driving. <laughs> like, um, but for the likes of yourself, when you start, um, when you start, um, what was it? When we were on the airplane and stuff like that on the way back. This is all I want to talk about because this was the funniest thing ever. And um, not at the time because I was panicking. Um, there was you, me, and this businesswoman, and then Kelvin was over there, I think it was, or no, Kelvin it was, was there and you, you over there. No, it was you, Kelvin, the yeah. businesswoman, yeah. and then me. Yeah, and, and you, me. I, right, so what happened was, right, the plane, right, the the TVs came down, and it was the safety ad, but the tellies kept cutting out. And I was like, what is the telly keeps cutting out for? And Kelvin's like, chap, will you fucking relax? And he's giggling. And you're there looking at me going, <laughs> you're doing your little giggle, right? Kelvin was getting buckled on, on the way back in a week. Yeah. We tried to get a point on the way over. Yeah. We, we When we asked when they finally came around, they wouldn't give us one. So then on the way back, he was drinking loads of vodka bowls in the airport. And then on the way back, and I mean, he was plastic going home. He was pissing himself laughing. Like, he was fucking... It was hilarious. And... I got to the stage when we, we we took off and we got up and when we got up the plane started doing this like that shaking and I'm there going what's that oh you fucking cunt every time it dropped I'd say something and I wouldn't care I'd scream it like I'd say out loud enough that everybody hears me on the plane and I know from your perspective that's like shut the fuck up will you, will you shut the fuck up oh, you're making a oh, show of us. I, I but I didn't it. care I didn't I didn't care I, I my, my life is in danger in my head and I thought I was going to die and uh, that they, woman's face that woman's face was she was looking at me going what the fuck but she was also laughing she started talking to me and then um, started slagging me she started <laughs> slagging me um, and then I started getting fucking offensive with her and then um, she moved seats with you you came over I was in the middle holding on like that and I was like boys boys and I started laughing and then every now and again be like Boy, it's not that bad, is it? And the next one, a little drop, and I go, "Oh, boy, it's, it's I'm the worst to be on a plane with. I really am." And this, when this podcast comes out, it'll probably be about a week after or something. But on the twenty second of May, I was supposed to go to Salu, um, for a week, and um, that's like, imagine me on the plane. That's supposed to be like two hours or something. I wouldn't be able for it. But I was supposed to go to Port Ventura and fucking go on the roller coasters and oh fucking. Teo Park didn't have it in him, right? I fucking I was going to fucking Port Ventura, man, and them fucking things are mad. And I was going to go on the I was going to go to Fiari Land and uh, go on the Red Force. Have you ever seen the Red Force? No, I haven't seen it. It's Fiari Land. It's fucking so you you just you start off and you fucking you take off in this thing and it brings you up like that and then you go and you go down and go back. But the fucking speed check it after the podcast. Look look it up after the podcast. Yeah, but, I will. It's just watch like there's only like a minute of a point of view, but the fucking speed of it, it's mad. Um, but yeah, for the likes of that with the plane, I ha- I still have photos on Facebook. Um, and a video I think of me asleep. You asleep? Uh, us getting on the plane. We're all in our tracksuits. Remember, I'm fucking mm-hmm. you're in your grey tracksuit. Um, and when we got on the plane first, I mean, you sat down the very back. Do you remember? We were sitting yeah, at the back of the plane. That was actually, real. That you was actually you were seeing next to me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember? And hold on. I paid 13 euro, right? Extra or something, right? And now it's only 13 euro, but I paid 13 euro extra to sit beside Dara. And then I found out that no one was fucking sitting there in the first place and I could have sat there anyway. <laughs> it's mad, man. And I paid. Oh, Kelvin ends up sitting next to us, I think, as well on the way over. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was see. Yeah. And we were all sitting there. And I think the flight over was grand. Jimmy, a little bit was like, oh shit, but for most of it was grand. But 
when we came back, that was when the storm fucking the shit hit the fan and I was fucked. But it was fucking so chill. Um because when we landed, was it still it was still daytime, wasn't it? Or was it like going into nighttime? No, when you or over there when we landed over there yeah, 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 or yeah. when we landed home. No, when we landed over there, was it still daytime uh, or was it night time? No, it was late enough. We landed over there like yeah. half nine and ten. We missed there like the bars close off. Yeah, we got and fucking everything. tickets and vouchers for and we fucking missed it. Yeah, don't know what way they booked the flights. And then on the way back we landed at like ten again, ten eleven yeah. again. They should have that company should have let us go over and be over there for like three o'clock. We could have checked in, we could have had a whole day there, do you get me? And then yeah. Tomorrow we do it, and like I know that they're paying. They were paying for us, and they paid for everything and stuff, and they even refunded your money and stuff like that as well. But at least let us fucking go over and chill there for the day. But I think they they they're worrying that they were like, if they go out there in the daytime, they're gonna get shit faced by the evening, and then like because I was gonna be bored. And, but we were right beside the airport, weren't we? Oh, we were like what? What airport was that? Heat Heat Row. Heat Row. Yeah. yeah. But we were far from London, like the main city. Yeah, I think we wanted like to go. I guarantee it. If we landed there early, we probably would have went. Oh, I definitely would have got yeah. a taxi down, which I went, had a nice yeah. little walk around, seeing a few things, and headed back. That would have been class. Um, yeah, because was. you can get the. I I remember when I went to London. Um, went in December. I think it was two thousand eighteen. Uh, we went and it was me and Nicola. And what we done was is that, um. We got we landed in Heat Row and we got on a bus and the bus only took an hour or something, um to to fucking go down to London, and yeah. I was like this is fucking class. But um, I was literally about to say if this ever happens again, there if they bring us again, but you know yourself. Um, but we are uh, good. But yeah, for the likes of that, that I wanted to bring that up as well on the podcast. I thought that was a really fucking funny time, like and stuff of like that as well. And after I'd seen the video last night, and um, then a nice little phone call to you the next morning. Anto, are you in? <laughs> no, are you? No. But we have missed calls off all the managers on Facebook. Yeah, they used to <laughs> they used to call us, and um, sometimes I'd see them and I wouldn't answer them because I was just like, now nah, fuck this. Um, I'm not coming not the worst because part that's what happens really. in work. When when you're in retail and there are well, people are low on staff, they're going to... I'm going to try to watch what I'm saying now just in case any of them watch, right? Because they well, know if me and you are doing here. a podcast together. If me we're and you are doing a podcast... No, we're not, doing a, we're not saying names here, so it's, it's okay. But if we Place do a podcast ridiculous. together, they know. <laughs> but, <laughs> ridiculous. But, um, yeah, but it was it was a bit mad, um, and uh, I I I discussed my position a little bit before on the podcast uh, when I was with someone here, but um, I just I'm not I'm not going to say the reasons and so, but um, if there's one thing I can thank them, if there's a, if there's things I can thank them for, it's that um, when I got there, um, I I developed a routine and it was really fucking good to wake up and just go to work Monday to Friday and do this. And then um, the the people that I met in there as well, they're really nice. Um, we're still friends with them on oh, Facebook or Instagram. People are lovely in there. Yeah. There was deadly people in there. And they, but the only, what I loved mm. was my roster. I had yeah. the most. You had the most chill out roster. Chilled out roster. But while I was in, mm. they just melted my brain. Yeah. Well, one person melted my brain <laughs> yeah. constantly. Yeah. I think it meant. I think they melted a lot of people's fucking brains. But oh, we had the best roster. I used to go in at seven on a Monday till mm. three o'clock. Same for a Friday. Didn't work weekends. Yeah. And then like Tuesday and Thursday, I was in from like twelve to nine, and that was it. Mm. That was my week. That's so fucking handy though, and it's 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 good that they worked around it as well. Do you get me? That's what I mean. Like yeah. one of the managers in particular, the one that looks like you, your dad. He was just bang on it. He, he was actually quite chilled out. He doing loads for us. Yeah. I still never the forget hat. our lovely awards night that we were meant to go to and I think it was me and you just mm. left. Yeah, we did we didn't go. Come here. I'm not I'm I if I'm going to do work, I'm going to work. I'm not I'm not doing these award nights and stuff like that as well and fucking, you know, uh, holding me back any longer than I fucking should. I wasn't um, even there long enough to win any awards, so that was pointless. I was just there. I was just fucking there. I didn't win it yet. I was just like, hi guys, I'm here. And they're like, oh, I didn't even know you were there. And I was like, all right, man. Um, but yeah, it was it was real good that when we went into the cafeteria, um, 
like the canteen and so yeah. that all of us we'd all try to go on the break at the same time and we'd all have a laugh for like an hour and we sometimes we wouldn't even go back for like 20 minutes over and stuff and it was fucking mad like uh, the worst was when we didn't have a lunch together because yeah. I'd be on my lunch say early yeah. and then you'd be on your lunch a bit after but in that meantime while you're on your lunch or I'm on mine we'd be in and out to each other for like mm. 20 minutes of that yeah yeah and it was it was mad as well um but isn't it good that we learned that experience and we know that that's not what we want to do yeah definitely like but, we we don't want to do that like we we don't want to walk up and down like imagine remember when we used to just have to walk up and down and it was so boring and we were on our feet for like eight hours seven hours a day and we were just we walking to, it was like we used to ha- have to hassle customers yeah like we used to have to go noise. over and force, yeah, and you're not allowed. Yeah. It says it in the um, says it in the handbook in the manual. Then you're not allowed to do that. That's one thing in England. That that time when we were in London, mm. over there, their laws are different. They were taught to literally hassle a person. Yeah, completely. But that's mad. I, I like me personally wouldn't want to be hassled. I treat it customers the way I want. But yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't force anybody. I didn't. I told them that I did and stuff like that, but I didn't. And it's just not in me. Like you know, if I can see that I'm not bothered, I no. won't go near them. Um, okay. it's not something I knew. I knew that this isn't. That wasn't something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I didn't want to work in that place for the rest of my life. So I just went in. I done the best I could do to my abilities, and um, that's what I done. But it's it's good. As I said, it's good that we both realised that that's not what we want to do. You left um about six seven months before I did. And um, I could was see that, that yeah, I think it was like six, seven months um, before I left. Oh. And uh, it was it was mad. And I would only stay because I had this place and I couldn't afford it on my own. But now I can. Um, I'm entitled to whatever I get now and um, that I can be able yeah. to pay rent and have uh, food and, you know, pay electricity and bills. So I'm, 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 I'm living nice. I'm living comfortably that I would think anyway. And um, yeah, it's, it's nice now that, I wouldn't be able to get to do this. I wouldn't be able to record videos a lot because I'd be constantly working. And then when the weekend comes, Nicola comes up, I had no time to myself. And now yeah, exactly. that I'm chilling like this, it's much, much better. I really fucking, I really like where I am now at the moment. It's it's much better for me. And was that the same for you when you left after a while? I left and, but I left now and I had another full-time job. With yeah, which is a smart thing to do. To. Yeah, I didn't do that. that was, that's I a smart thing. I knew that thing. another company that I knew someone in was looking for me specifically because I worked with him in another job doing something and then he became the manager in another mm-hmm. place. But he wanted me to do my old job and I was comfortable enough with that and that was brilliant, which I ended up having to leave just before the coronavirus due to me asthma. But yeah. now that when you add up the what happened and the way the hospitals our doctors didn't know what it was mm. and a lot of other people with asthma and respiratory problems in their cases yeah. we could have had coronavirus Shit. i don't know yeah come here well that's that's a good, a good thing to talk about then actually because if you have asthma what what have you been like what have you been doing now through all this i know we're in phase one now since the 18th of may it is now the 19th of may when we were um, yeah, it's the 19th of May now, so it's literally a phase one of, in Ireland of this. And for the likes of yourself that has asthma, so have you been going out of the house? Have you been wearing masks? What have you been doing? You know me. <laughs> Walk out with me nip and I say, fuck it. Yeah, kind of. But nails and hands on toys, I keep me distance. Kind of just doing the main things i haven't been wearing masks i should be probably because yeah, my ass you've asked me man that, that that if that you catch that that's gonna affect you a lot more than the li- likes of me that would uh, for probably me kill, probably kill over yeah you would because the thing about it, you've already find it hard to fucking breathe so sometimes yeah. you know I mean? so imagine if you're like you know like don't know what it is and then it's like and then it's that's like that's what it was like though yeah that's what it was. You literally could feel my chest and I'm breathing and i had the worst cough then i sound worse i sounded worse than me grand downstairs who has copd which is like oh. i don't know what exactly it is i yeah. think it's possibly fluid on lungs like it's bad oh, it's a bad breathing problem like yeah. it's all it's common in all people but yeah 
she is a bad brain problem and I sounded worse than her at the time Jesus and the, the doctors hospitals n- new medications the most they could give me yeah. and they had no answer for me that's that's mad I remember going to hospital to get my I have a lump here people already fucking know if they watch the previous podcast yeah. I have a lump here and uh, it's only a cyst but I remember sitting there getting this x-ray and there was a fella and he was a he was a tall fella he was overweight but Dara he had no inhaler and he's walking around going <gasps> like he's trying to catch all his breaths and he's just walking around to a hospital waiting in the waiting room while he's trying to fucking breathe and I was there going <gasps> with him I was like fucking trying to breathe from I felt like going I'm going I'm fucking breathing in his mouth it was fucking I literally like if I watch a film and someone's in the water and they're drowning I literally do this if I'm betting to I go <gasps> Like, I take a breath for them. That's what I do. It's so weird, right? I'm the same. Yeah, there you go, right? I fucking knew it wasn't. I know a lot of people do it, and they just don't admit it. But uh, when this fella was fucking going, like, fucking trying to breathe, I literally looked at him. He didn't see me, but I looked at him, and lit a little small thing. This was me in the waiting room, right? This is me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was breathing. I was, and I was fucking almost hyperventilating. And there was nothing wrong with me. This fella was fucking on the verge of dying. And I think I'm fucking being on. Oh, brave from brave from. To make it worse though, with my luck, soon as like I leave my job after that, and I don't know whether it was coronavirus or not, or if it was the environment of me lying at work at the time. Yeah. But I had left then. Then what was it about a month later? I started to feel better. I wouldn't have left the house for much because I'd have been in finished work. I wouldn't have had much to do. So it was about two, three weeks later. Hmm. I'm still training MMA and doing hmm. it, going away. And then next thing you know, someone throws me. And hmm. then I, whatever I put out my hand, I hear it. And Tom's still moving, looked fine, sore a bit. Yeah. But I could only like go to that. Yeah. I couldn't like you could do that or way, yeah. anything. Like that was yeah. gone. It turns out it fractured like in here. And that was just hilarious. And then I had a big cast on my hand and <laughs> had to go to a wedding oh, only like a few weeks last month. No. Yeah. Do you hear me last month? It was last March month. or something. Yeah. And I had to go with a cast on. But two days later, I had a like, follow-up appointment in the matter. I had to go every like two, three weeks or something. Two yeah. weeks to check. As what I'd done is I ripped like the muscle tendon off the bone. Oh, it literally, like, say there's the bone. It's yeah. separated. But I hadn't separated enough to the point that they were just going to go straight in with surgery and attach it themselves. They were going to hope that it Fucking, like slowly repaired yeah. itself like attached back onto the bone which I did thank yeah. god so because I don't have to get my hand opened up but I go back and they're like okay that's at the seems like it's attaching back on we're going to take the cast off now and I was like and I had to go to a wedding with a big stupid black cast on my hand fuck's sake them phones are always going to be there them, them phones again. you look like you probably look like fucking Hellboy did you ever see Hellboy and he has a big black oh he has a big red fucking rock hand yeah. You and that fucking big black fucking hand on you, and you're just oh. literally smashing things. Oh, you hit it behind Amy. <laughs> oh, every photo. On that side. Yeah, yeah, smart. That smart. Hand. smart. Speaking of Hellboy, uh, her uncle actually is the like one of the animators of him. The older ones. Jesus Christ. The, the, yeah. the, the good ones. Yeah, the real Hellboys. Yeah, the real Hellboys. Did you see the new one? I haven't yet because I hadn't heard I watched good about, about 20 it. minutes of it, and I was like, this is. The biggest, loudest shit ever. But nah, come here, as, as I fucking, me. as I said, we're doing this podcast now about 50 minutes, I think. Um, and they're really? only recorded for a half an hour. So, oh. Dara, um, I am going to stop us there. Um, but also, oh. you were talking about MMA and so, so I want to come back. Uh, we'll have you back on the podcast and we'll talk more about oh, that. Definitely. And, and hopefully when we have you back on, we'll probably have you back on in July or something. Like, I'm trying to just find the all the hundred guests that I have now, I'm trying to get them to be different. Yeah, exactly. And then after that, I'll have like return guests on and so, um, but yeah, probably somewhere in July or so, if not July, um, probably the end of July or August or so. And then the restrictions will be more uplifted. And so we have, we'd have a lot of sh- stuff to talk about as well. Hopefully the next podcast in person anyway. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing them in person. Or I'm going to be doing them over Zoom. Um, but yeah, if, if, if we can do them in person, um, 
we we even come up to my house and if people are allowed in each other's houses and stuff like that. Well, that's what I mean. Hopefully, by the in the next podcast from around, everyone's mm. in the world's in a better place and all that. Yeah. So if there's, it's our. I I already said that everybody should go uh, check out Dara. Dara, I'm gonna leave your Instagram down below if you want. Um, yeah, let us know. Yeah, Spudio URL. Yeah, and you can go check him out. He sends, cl- he does clips, and you know, and he gives uh, information when he's uploading and so like that as well. So please go check him out. But uh, yeah, also, nice the new one is follow Spudio URL on TikTok. TikTok? Oh, you're on TikTok. Uh, it's mainly just promo stuff, but yeah, yeah, I'm on it as well. Right, I'll put it all down there. Um, I'll put it all down in the description below. Uh, please go follow me on Instagram and also the Facebook. I have stuff on. I'm gonna be getting stuff on Cloud, uh, SoundCloud now, and Podbean. Uh, very soon, I'm gonna put all my fucking podcast there. I'm gonna try to put as much as I can out on different platforms, social media. I have a TikTok as well, but um, it's for special people. Um, so um, please, and when I say special people. Um, I mean, like, just people that are just weird like me. Um, so, yeah, guys, thanks so much uh, for watching our uh, episode. Also, Derek, thanks for coming on, man, because uh, we were supposed to do this already last Tuesday or something, and then we literally just fucking forgot. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, no. um, so, anyway, I was I was like, right, come on, we do this now. Uh, but, guys, yeah, thanks so much for coming on. Um, wait, hold on. What? Hold on. Oh, my God. How did I forget? Dara, it's the last segment. Guys, this is Ghost Stories. Ooh, scary. Dara, I have two questions for you. Two questions. Now, I know I forgot about this, and this is the first time I ever forgot about this, actually, once I started doing it. Dara, I have a question for you. One, do you believe in an afterlife or a reincarnation? Two, do you have a ghost story you can tell? One, yes, I do. Good. Two, it's not a great ghost story it's a but the story man nearly every one of us in the family are convinced we have seen some sort of like shadowy figure hmm. standing at the top of me grand stairs and at the top of the stairs it's not there anymore yeah. she used to have this like it was not a painting it was a piece of art but it was old and it was like hmm. i can't remember what it was it was some saint and a little kid and it was just that old person type type of vibe going on there yeah like that whole jesus yeah. type of art in an old person's house now it's mm. not there anymore but it, it just as kids mm. it used to be kind of like whoa yeah whoa yeah just kind of like whoa so you've all seen figures you've seen a black fitter figure on oh, top of the stairs. and then another weird one actually yeah. i was in my house one day and i was yeah. just sitting there and I used to live in an apartment and I was just sitting in the like where the sitting room was and the, where it has a kitchen as well. But I was mm. sitting next thing you know, I see this like white ball, like a little orb kind of moving. What the fuck? But then I see it like fly out the door and go around towards my bedroom because it used to go out the sitting room door, take a right, and then it just had me hallway. <laughs> just but go out there, take a right, one. and you'd be grand. Yeah. But just seeing a black one go straight yeah. after it, like chasing it. That was... You've been watching Harry Potter and you're stoned out of your head. You're out on drugs and you're watching Harry Potter. Fucking hell. Um, but now, come Whoa. here. That's fucking, that's fucking interesting to listen to. Like, I, I love... I don't know. What the fuck, man? I forgot about that segment. Um, I'm going to have to cut the fucking clip and uh, do, the, do the outro again. Um, but, um, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, thanks for... Oh, shit. Uh, thanks for coming on. And, um, yeah, so no thanks for coming on and doing the All Right podcast. Um, as I said, already people wouldn't have heard it because i have to fucking cut it that we'll have you back on hopefully it's me and you when we're doing this me fucking kitchen sit room whatever you want to call it um fucking and we'll do it uh we'll do one we'll record and we'll have uh it look it look much better it look much better um and hopefully we can do it then so uh, yeah Derek, thanks for coming on i'll leave all your links down in the description below uh, i'll done leave done. my down in the description below uh, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, it's not the best podcast, but it's not the worst podcast. It's just an alright podcast. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, peace. <laughs>